What's going on guys? Welcome back to another stimulus update and election update. What is happening right now in 2020 in this election is crazy and it's something that nobody thought what is currently going on was going to take place and was even possible. First, the Senate was expected to go to Democrats and the presidency was predicted to go to Joe Biden by a wide, wide margin, creating a democratic sweep. However, right now, as things go, right now, President Trump is still well within striking distance to win the presidential election. And the Senate, on the other hand, won't be determined until January. This is huge. This is a game changer for stimulus negotiations. Days ago, the Senate was looking great. They were looking like the Senate was going to be controlled by Republicans, okay? Now, I'm not saying this was good. I'm just saying that we had a better understanding of where we were going moving forward because the Senate was going to be controlled by a specific party. We had an answer. But the problem now is we do not have an answer and we most likely will not have an answer until January 5th. This is insane. This is insanity. Nobody thought this was gonna happen. However, it is, and let me explain why. Right now, the fate of the Senate and the stimulus all falls on Georgia. Nobody thought this was gonna happen, but it is. As of right now, the two Senate races in Georgia are both headed towards a Senate runoff election, which would happen on January 5th. That means we have to wait two months just to see who will be in control of the Senate. We have to wait until 2021. We are back to let's wait and see. The, nobody, the American people cannot wait an additional two months for stimulus negotiations to really ramp up. So hopefully we will have answers much sooner Hopefully Mitch McConnell will not worry about this, but again, we don't know and we won't know for a little while. Currently, the Senate is made up of 46 Democrats, two independents and 48 Republicans. So in other words, it is 48 to 48. Now, these two senators will most likely make up the difference and here's the reason why. As of right now, Alaska will most likely go Republican which will put them at 49 to 48. And North Carolina will most likely fall to Tom Tillis, a Republican as well, who would make it 50 to 48. If both of Georgia's, Georgia's Senate go Democrat, then this means it will be 50-50 split, Democrat and Republican, which means, and if this is a split, if there is a tie in the Senate, it means whoever is vice president would decide the fate of that bill, which means if Joe Biden wins, Kamala Harris would be the one who would be in control and give the deciding party, which would most likely be Democrats, the win. If President Trump is still in office, it will be Mike Pence. So this is where that 50-50 split is not necessarily a good thing because it puts all the pressure on the vice president. Now, many people are going to say that this is bad for America and we don't want a democratic sweep. Now, honestly, I'm not here to give you political advice. I'm not here to talk about politics. I want to talk about stimulus and how the stimulus is going to help out the American people, get the economy back on track, put money into people's pockets, get businesses rolling once again. I'm a business owner. That is what I love. That is what I do. So let's talk about stimulus and why this is good for stimulus. First, this would provide the largest stimulus package to the American people. This would be the largest stimulus package the United States has ever seen. Some are predicting it would be close to $3 trillion. This package, it would include stimulus checks to the American people in the ballpark of roughly $1,200 per filer, $1,200 for their spouse, and most likely $500 per, um, per dependent. 
It would also provide rental assistance, school funding, state and local government funding, PPP funding, EIDL loans, food assistance, funding for the United States Postal Service, and so much more. All this sounds great, right? Sounds wonderful. But there's a problem. And the problem is actually Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi is the problem. And she is the she's the problem in this situation, not because she doesn't want the $3 trillion stimulus package. She would love it. But the real reason why is because Nancy Pelosi does not want to start Joe Biden's presidency if he is elected with a $3 trillion debt. She would rather pass that stimulus package in 2020 to make sure that debt falls on President Trump, not on Joe Biden. If the package passes in 2021, then Joe Biden is giving that $3 trillion debt from the get-go, not Trump. This is why Nancy Pelosi would rather have a larger yet smaller than her liking stimulus package in 2020. Let's say it's right around 1.5 to 1.9 trillion dollars. She would love a 1.5 trillion dollar stimulus package to end 2020 because that would fall on President Trump. Let's say he does not get reelected, which as of right now, Joe Biden is the one in the lead. So we're just going to go with the assu that assumption that Joe Biden is going to win. Now, whether he wins or not, we'll make a new update if President Trump wins and, and we'll go forward with that. But as of right now, all signs are pointing to Joe Biden winning. Now, I'm not here to choose sides. I'm not here to say Joe Biden's going to be a better president. I'm not here to say President Trump's going to be a better president. I'm just here to give you the facts on stimulus and what's currently going on. So if, okay, if Nancy Pelosi accepted a $1.5 trillion stimulus package in 2020, then she's always open to the idea of coming back and getting more stimulus in 2021 because then she'd go and try to get more smaller targeted stimulus, exactly what Republicans have been wanting to do all along. And she would want to do this in 2021 because then that means Joe Biden isn't given a large stimulus bill debt. So that is what Nancy, that is what's reported from Nancy Pelosi. On the other hand, President Trump is reportedly not wanting his last act in the Oval Office to be approving a $2 trillion debt. He would rather have that go to Joe Biden as well. So we have Nancy Pelosi, who's now taking sides with more of a political statement as, I don't want my president to have, be saddled with this large debt coming into his first month. She wants it to go to President Trump. And President Trump is like, I don't want to do this as my last act as president. I'd rather Joe Biden does it. So here's the problem. This is not good because this means the American people could be waiting even longer for stimulus. This also means that we might not see anything because Nancy Pelosi doesn't want Joe Biden to get or to be saddled with that debt. The good news from all of this is that Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell both want stimulus. They both see a benefit to having stimulus. However, who wins the presidency is going to play a major role in stimulus moving forward. I've been saying this for months and I will continue to say this. The next president will play a major role as to the amount and as to when we see the stimulus actually hit the Americans' pockets. To further push Congress to make a move and make a deal for stimulus, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell came out today and said, I quote, Obviously, it's for Congress to decide the timing, size, and components of further fiscal support for the economy. I will say that the support provided by the CARES Act was absolutely essential in supporting the recovery that we've seen so far. And I do think it's likely that further support is likely to be needed from monetary policy and fiscal policy. So Jerome Powell, the Federal Reserve Chairman, says we need more stimulus. Now, will Congress listen and will Congress act? That we don't know. What we do know is Mitch McConnell said, the first order of business for the Senate as soon as they come back to Capitol Hill will be stimulus. So as of right now, Monday is the day where stimulus negotiations should really ramp up. 
In other news, Dr. Anthony Fauci has stated that the United States is in a world of hurt. With more than 107,000 new COVID cases yesterday alone and more than 50,000 hospitalizations, the United States hospitals are quickly going to be at capacity and doctors will be overextended. This is not good news. Now, what you need to understand is that right now we do not know who will be running our country in 2021. We don't know if Anthony Fauci will even be here in the next couple of months. We have no clue what is going on. All we know is right now we seem to get, be getting more COVID or positive COVID cases and we need to bring that number down. So as I know more, I promise I will share more. I just want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe so I can keep you updated on all things stimulus and how to make money. And I'll see you guys on the next one.